Joining me now is Horace Cooper, chairman of Project 21. Horace, really? Um, it looked to me like we were watching uh, David Duke in blackface. Uh, when <laughs> Ashley Merchant first filed her motion showing all of this double dealing that was occurring, I started chronicling it on uh, Twitter or X. And it is remarkable that it's okay to malign black people by uh, making claims when you haven't followed the rules. We have one black attorney, uh, Mr. Wade, who claims that he doesn't need to go through a divorce proceeding. He can Consider. independently decide <laughs> when his, his marriage has ended. Uh, you have a uh, the senior DA, the, the DA herself, she's able to declare that the uh, requirements for disclosure, she can reinterpret those. And it's always great to hear the DA say that she prefers Grey Goose uh, to wine. What these people are doing is they are showing that there are mediocrities regardless of race. How this person got to be the district of attorney, I'll never know. <laughs> How her father is able to represent in public that his peculiar behavior is something that only blacks do. Again, if David Duke had said something like, this is some peculiar thing <laughs> that only blacks do, we'd all understand. I ask you, and I announced on Twitter today, this morning, I have seen enough. These people lack professionalism, they lack integrity, they are not credible witnesses, and since the only other witness we had yesterday testified that the relationship began in 2019, I fully expect Judge McAfee sometime next week to disqualify them. It won't be because no. they're black, it will be because they lack integrity and they have used, they attempted a great grift to use taxpayer dollars to support their lavish lifestyle and their little mini love affair. All right. Well, Horace, we shall see if the judge has the uh, backbone to do that. Thanks so much for being with us tonight.